Conquer Destiny, Rise of Iron, and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. It's Wednesday, September 14th. My name is Rob, and we're talking GameSpot news, baby. Let's get right to it. If you thought we were done with Pokemon Go news for the week, think again. Pokemon Go's buddy update is here. Downloading it will let you choose one of your Pokemon to be your buddy, because apparently they hated you before. Forcing one of your Pokemon to be your friend earns you candies when you walk around with them. The update also fixes network and minor text issues, as well as a bug that would make eggs hatch without alerting you, robbing people the ability to see their Pokemon emerge from the shell. The update also rolls out on Pokemon Go Plus support. The Pokemon Go Plus is the small, wearable Bluetooth device that alerts you of nearby Pokestops and helps you catch Pokemon. And speaking of wearable mobile devices, following the announcement that Pokemon Go will support the Apple Watch, developer Niantic Labs has said it's pretty likely that the game will also be available for Android Wear devices in the future. There's a new Overwatch update out. Now, if you were a fan of those Mercy Endgame spotlights, well, they just got a little dimmer. Yes, that's right. Blizzard's new Overwatch update spans across all platforms. And one of the most notable changes is that Mercy's Resurrections won't be awarded a play of the game as frequently. Other notable changes include an increased payload speed on Eichenwalde, a new competitive tier legend has been added to the competitive play info screen, and a new match complete splash screen has replaced the former round complete splash screen in competitive matches. And then of course your regular bug fixes, like the one that was allowing Reaper to shadow step to unintended locations on Hollywood. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is just around the corner, and apparently, an infinite amount of Call of Duty games. In a Marketplace interview with Blizzard Activation CEO Bobby Kotick, Kotick talks about the Call of Duty franchise and how it will never stop shooting out titles. Kotick said, We've had Call of Duty games played on virtually every console for the last 14 years. So the idea of having a game that centers around armed conflict through history, you never run out of ideas of Call of Duty games. There will always be Call of Duty games, and they'll be played on a variety of devices. Codex comments came in response to the question on what the future looks like for console and PC-focused franchises like Call of Duty, now that smartphone gaming is becoming so popular. The exec went on to say that Activision plans to release games wherever the fans are. Well, that is all the news I found today. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and watch something else.